Hello, fire engineers, and welcome back to the platform of fire engineering with me, Mohammed Al Hamad. In today's video, I'm providing you an important tool for every fire engineer, which is a free FM200 calculator that I have prepared to calculate the required FM200 gas quantity. Continue watching until the end of the video to learn more about how to calculate the required FM200 gas and to download the tool. So, ready to enhance your knowledge in the fire engineering? Let's get started. So today's topic is how to calculate the required FM200 gas quantity for fire protection. I will not go into the technical details about the FM200 system, but I will focus today on the calculation steps for it. However, for sure there will be a detailed video on the FM200 and will be published soon on the platform channel. Firstly, as you know, the FM200 is a clean agent gas that's used as a special standalone system for fire protection in the electrical rooms or similar rooms. And FM200 is the commercial name of this gas, while the scientific name is HFC-227EA, as referred to in the International Code of NFPA Standard 2001. Question. Why do you need this calculator? Simply, you may want to confirm the design gas quantity for a specific room. Or as example, if you are a maintenance engineer and you face a situation where gas refilling is needed and you want to verify the FM200 gas calculation and the quantities. Or in a condition of room area and hazard modification, and you want to do a recalculation of the required gas quantity. Referring to NFBA 2001 standard, the required quantity of FM200 gas is calculated using this equation, which my calculator is designed based on. This equation includes variables that can be calculated as follows. First, the W is the FM200 gas quantity in kilogram. V is the net volume of hazard, calculated considering gross volume of room minus the volume of fixed structures. S is the specific vapor volume, and we can get it by applying this equation using the room temperature, while C is the minimum design concentration, selected based on the hazard classification and multiplied by safety factor. Let's take the first example to show you how to use the calculator and get the different variables. Example 1. So we'll start by defining the class of the protected hazard. The electrical room is classified as a class C hazard. Hence, the design concentration is 7 and safety factor is 1.35 according to NFBA standard. Now, you will need to enter the room dimension and the fixed structure and equipment volume to get the net volume. So now we got the calculated volume and the design concentration. Now, by entering the room temperature, you will be getting the specific vapor volume. Now the final result is ready, which is the required quantity of the FM200 gas in kilogram. The last step is to select a suitable cylinder that can accommodate the desired gas quantity and the discharge nozzles by referring to the manufacturer catalog. This is an example of KIDI catalog to select the cylinder range. In our example, we'll be selecting the third option of cylinders with approximate weight of 42 kilogram. So we'll start by choosing the hazard class, the library hazard considered as ordinary combustible material. So we'll choose a class A. Now it's calculating the net volume. Starting by the room volume, we'll enter the data as mentioned in the example. Then the false ceiling volume and the fixed structure volume. So we'll get the net volume that required to be protected by the FM200 gas. The design concentration is calculated based on the hazard selection. So enter the room temperature to get the S. So the total required FM200 gas quantity is 1,904 kg. In this example, you can note that multiple cylinders are required to be provided to accommodate the required quantity of gas. Approximately, we'll need 9 cylinders of this model to get the minimum FM200 gas requirement. Engineers, now it's your turn to try. Download the FM200 calculator, which you can get from the description of this video, and calculate the required FM200 gas quantity for the following example. Try by yourself and let me know the result that you will get by leaving a comment on this video. We have reached the end of this video. If you are finding this content helpful, remember to like, share and subscribe the platform channel on YouTube for future updates. As well, I will keep the link in the description for the Instagram page, Telegram group and to connect with me on LinkedIn. Keep learning, stay safe. Until next time, keep it tuned for the next video by the platform of Fire Engineering with me, Mohammed Al-Hamad.